guys, I've just got back from holiday. Imagine my surprise when I went to use my Trudicity for this week, only to discover that the two pens remaining in this box appear to have some kind of defect. Let me give you a bit of a close-up view of the defect. So if we uh, look at each of these, so the first one here, uh, you can see there is a hole, literally right the way through the outside of the case there, and around it some kind of plastic heat meltage by the looks of things, so that's actually quite a heinous bit of damage on that first one. And then if we look at the second one, uh, there's not actually a hole through it, but there is very similar sort of plastic melting kind of damage visible on the outside of that one. So yes, they both suffered some kind of common heat-based damage by the looks of it. Kind of heinous. Unfortunately, I will have to discard both of these Trinity pens now. Based on that visible damage, there is, of course, the chance of contamination. And in that case, we can't take any risks due to the possibility of infection and so on and so forth. So, that's unfortunate. However, on the plus side, as I'm going to be throwing them away anyway, I guess I may as well, assuming they still work, give you a demonstration of the mechanical operation of a Trulicity pen. So, why don't we do that? So those of you familiar with Trulicity know the drill here. One takes the cap off, one turns the pen into the unlocked position, holds it up against the body usually, and pushes the button. And there are three spring-loaded actions. The first action pushes the needle into the body, the second action pushes the liquid through the needle, and the third action springs the needle back out of the body again. So let's, uh, let's try it now, shall we? Um, so let's take the cap off. There we go. Let's be careful, of course, because there is a needle involved with this. Then we uh, turn it to the unlock position. Okay, and let's uh, let's see this in action, shall we? Well, there we go. That is significantly less exciting when it's not going into one's body. And let's try a slightly different angle for the second one. Let's take off the cap and move it to the unlock position. And here we go. Wow. Well guys, I hope that was interesting for you and didn't gross you out too much. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do feel free, as always, to comment below. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Well, goodbye.